Chapter 3 Storage of Water Try this. 1. Make a small hillock of mud and stones in the schoolyard. Set some stones into the hillock. Pour water over the hillock from a watering can like rain. Use the following points to study how the water flows over the hillock. In which direction does the water flow? Water flows in downwards direction, isn't it? How does water flow on the steeper slopes? You can see that water flows faster on steeper slopes. How does it flow on the gentler slopes? On gentler slopes, water flows comparatively slowly. What happens when the stones cause an obstruction? You can see that when stones cause an obstruction, the water changes the direction. Where do puddles form? The puddles are formed at the places where small pits form. When does the direction of flow change? The direction of flow changes when there is obstruction in between the flow of water. 2. Now stop watering the hillock. Make observations using the following points. Why did the hillock dry when we stopped pouring water? When we stopped pouring water, some water seeped into the soil of hillock and some water got evaporated and hence the hillock dry. How long did the hillock take to dry? The hillock took almost an hour to dry. Which part of the hillock dried quickly? You can see clearly that the stones at the bottom of the hillock dried quickly. Which part took longer to dry? The soil of hillock took longer to dry. Why did it take longer to dry? The water in the hillock took longer time to evaporate, hence it took longer to dry. You will realize that some rainwater flows away over the ground. Some water seeps into the ground. All the water we get comes from the rain. The rainy season lasts for three or four months. Along with us, all living things use this water all year round. If we do not store water, we will not have enough water for our needs. That is why we have to save water. Water must be used economically. In this lesson, we will see different ways of storing water.